about to go strawberry picking and I am so excited but I wanted to show you guys my cute outfit before we left so I got the these overalls from Amazon I did have to cut the bottoms because I'm only five foot zero so everything's a little long on me um, but I just cut the bottoms off a little bit and it's super cute um, and then this plaid top is thrifted got this like months ago maybe even a year ago it was like as soon as we got back in the states i did a little bit of thrifting to have some more clothes because y'all know we only had our backpacks so i as soon as we could i was like i need to go clothes shopping so this is one of the things that i got back then um and then i just had my rain boots on these are also from amazon they're a little bit dirty because i do wear these out in the garden when i go out there um a lot of times and i was wearing them out there yesterday but Figured I would wear these to go strawberry picking in. Anyway, the kids are getting ready now and we're gonna head out. Oh my gosh, that's the size of my hand. Oh. strawberries soaking in some vinegar and baking soda and while those are soaking I'm gonna get our quiche going I actually made this quiche the other day and the kids and Justin were like you've got to make that again really soon so it's been like what like three days now since last time I made this so I'm gonna go ahead and make it again um, but I used half this sausage last time and like six eggs um, I've got this spinach that I'll end up putting in there not all of these tomatoes um, probably not even half 
this bag of tomatoes because if you use a lot of tomatoes in quiche, it takes longer to cook. I think last time um, I used not quite half of this bag and um, it, I wanna say it took like 50 minutes to cook when the recipe that I was kind of going by um, where they just use like ham and onions and stuff like that, theirs only took like 35 minutes and mine took a little bit longer, um, but it's so worth it. Like the tomatoes in there just gives it that juicy flavor and I just love quiche with tomatoes, but it does take a little bit longer to cook. So I wanna get those that quiche going right now as soon as possible because it might take about an hour before we get to eat. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get this going in the sink and then we'll start on the quiche. the egg mixture into the pie crust, but I wanted to show you guys this tomato bag because I probably didn't even use a fourth of it. Like I would say what I had before, I probably used like an eighth. So in all, I would say there's probably eight to 10 cherry tomatoes in here that are just halved. strawberries I need to cut up but I wanted to show you guys I set aside three cups of strawberries over here that have already been chopped like really small because I'm gonna make strawberry cobbler after the quiche comes out of the oven um, so I still have all these strawberries to cut up and I'm just gonna cut those up like 
I'm just gonna quarter them or something. They're not gonna be as small as these. Um, that way, you know, we can just add sugar to them or have them with whipped cream. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna end up doing with all the other strawberries yet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get those cut up and into a Ziploc bag and into the freezer. out of the oven it still has like three minutes left two minutes but look how pretty look how pretty that is i'm gonna see if it's done i'm just gonna cut into it a little bit i think it is yep this is done so i'm just gonna let it sit here for like five to ten minutes um and then we'll be ready to eat Another really nice thing about making quiche is while it's cooking, you can clean the kitchen. And so now after dinner, all I'll have to do is clean up that pan and any plates that we use. But I am still gonna make that strawberry cobbler. So that's nice to have a clean kitchen to make the strawberry cobbler in. I was gonna give you guys a close up so you can see how pretty this is. I'm gonna start making the strawberry cobbler now. Never done this recipe before, so fingers crossed it works out good, but I've got a pot right here and we're gonna make like the strawberry sauce first. So it said to turn it to um, medium heat and then you put in half a cup of sugar, two tablespoons of cornstarch, and then I'm gonna use my sifter to do this one, but you're gonna put in a fourth a cup of lemon juice, which ended up being three lemons for me, but I've got some seeds in here, so that's why I'm using my sifter. And then you just mix that all together until it thickens, which I feel like that should be pretty quickly because it's mostly sugar and cornstarch and a little bit of lemon juice. All right, now that the sauce has thickened, I'm gonna put in our three cups of strawberries and just fold that in. And I also took it off the heat. Oh wow, I bet this is good just as it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I need to go ahead and grease this pan and I saw this hack the other day where someone was using their butter wrapper from like a stick of butter and using it to just grease a pan. I don't know if this is going to be quite enough, but I thought that was a pretty cool hack. I'm going to use a little bit more. So now I'm just going to pour our strawberries into this pan and get all this juice out. Then I've got two tablespoons of cold butter here that's been diced and I'm just supposed to sprinkle this on.
This is how it's looking so far. Now we're gonna work on the cobbler topping. So for the topping, I have one cup of all-purpose flour in here, and then one tablespoon of white sugar, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and then this is three tablespoons of butter that I'm just gonna crumble in here. It says to dice it or cube it, um, but I'm just gonna break it up in my hands because I don't feel like cutting it. And then the last thing is half a cup of heavy whipping cream. So now we're supposed to mix this until we have crumbs and this isn't the bowl that goes with my mixer and I wasn't really even thinking about that. So I might just put this under my mixer and just kind of hold it and hope for the best. So obviously this isn't going to lock in like this bowl will. There we go. So I'm just gonna hold it here and I'm nervous about it, but I think it'll be okay. Probably supposed to have a different thing on here. A different attachment. I mean, let's see this one. I think that'll give us better crumbles. strawberries here and now I'm just gonna crumble this on top I feel like some of it might have stuck together a little bit too much but once it cooks you know it's a cobbler it's all gonna kind of spread out anyway so not too worried about it all right so it's going in the oven we're going to cook it on 400 for 25 minutes. Instead of squirting it out, I'm actually just going to take the bonus solution and kind of pour it all over the floor. It's just easier to mop that way. Sometimes I feel like when you're squirting it out, you really have to press hard. It's just not enough and I want a deeper clean this time. I think, you know, squirting it out and just kind of rubbing the floor down is okay if you're just trying to like tidy up or um, if you're just trying to give your hardwood floors a shine or something like that. But I'm wanting to really clean these floors, so I need some extra solution today.
finished up while I was mopping, so I'm like tiptoeing around the kitchen now. Look how pretty that is. I cannot wait to give it a try. Wow, this thunderstorm popped up out of nowhere. Can you guys hear that thunder? Well, this is gonna be cozy for our cobbler. <laughs> All right, Justin's gonna get the first try. Oh, you're gonna want more than that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put oh, a little ice so cream. Good too. Was that too much? No, nah, that's all right. Okay. Oh yeah. Careful, it's <laughs> gonna be hot. We'll see. Mm. It's good? Very good. Oh yeah, my you've gosh. You gotta try this. Okay, I'm about to. That looks so good. Mm. All right. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's like uh, the strawberry in it is just perfect. It's sweet, but not over sweet. Yeah. It is so good. Yeah, it's really good. I mean, it tastes like strawberry jelly in there. Yeah. It's really good.